episode nine. Episode 409. 409, 409. Episode nine, Married to the Game, September 27th, 2024, Ashley Hudson and Brendan Wash, Welsh. A union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Tariq and Monet are sent on a seemingly simple mission to find it to be much more than meets the eye. A union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Tariq and Monet are sent on a seemingly simple mission. They find it to be much more than meets the eye. This one right here sounds like you y'all remember uh Jumanji with highs in the dark brings rain to the light. When you cross the tree, the bridge shall fall. You're like, man, what the fuck does that mean? A union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Tariq and Monet are sent on a seemingly simple mission. They find it much more than meets the eye. This is like Jumanji right now. What are they doing to us? A union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together. So maybe Cain comes and talks to the family. Cain comes and talks to the family. Hey, it'd be in our best interest to talk to Noma. Let's work with Noma. But it couldn't appear to be further apart. Now, this could go either one or two ways. I'm going to take the Cain trying to link them together. Cain goes back, hey, Ma, look, it'd be best if we do this. But at the same time, the Tejadas are working for a Carter unless they got from up under them. But it looks like they're still trying to leverage from getting up under them. So it might be Noma's going to say, nah, fuck them, Cain. You with me, Cain. We're not going to link up with them. I thought you wasn't a mama's boy. Noman Kane in business in a business marriage. I think I think this might be it might just be a play on words. It might be everybody's married to the game because it's supposed to be a union between the Tejadas and Noma. So that's basically saying this union, you know, a union is, you know, you get married, the union between you and your partner, the union between the Tejadas and Noma, they're in the game again. They're working for Don, no one's in the game, so it's like everyone's married to the game. So a union between them. So something is throwing them off if it's further apart. Do we think that Don Carter still has his hands in this? And if Tariq and Monet are sent on a seemingly simple mission, they find it much more than meets the eye. Union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Tariq and Monet, man, this I'm telling you, this reads like a fucking Jumanji 
Like after you roll the dice, 7 Eleven is all a nigga roll. Nova Kane <laughs> is a secret agent. I, dang. See, when I mean, we getting too far out from, from what we know, like, okay, we got five, we can kind of piece together six and seven, come up with some good little theories, but this shit, like, okay, what kind of mission are they going on that's supposed to be simple? Is this a mission for Don, or are they officially working with Noma, but they're saying that this union isn't as close as it should be? My bad, y'all. It's some it's some people in my DMs. I'm trying to get these tickets. There's some lady told me, don't deal with certain like it's like some scamming shit going on. But you know, I scam the scammers. But this the, this don't seem like Jumanji. A union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Tariq and Monet are sent on a seemingly simple mission. They find it to be much more than meets the eye. Much more than meets the eye. Glasses. See, then that's the thing. We're we're at, we're at episode nine, so we're four away. We don't know if Don Carter is still around. We don't know about Kamal Tate. We haven't seen Drew's name mentioned. We haven't seen Kane's name mentioned. They were competing for the streets in episode eight. So in nine, they're sent on a simple mission, but they find it to be much more than meets the eye. What the fuck, man? What kind of mission could they be going on? Transporting drugs? That's the only mission I can think of a Tejada and a St. Patrick. Listen, the only things Tejadas and St. Patrick's can do, there's only three things. Fornicate, sell drugs, or beef with each other. That's it. A union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. So I'm thinking it's, it's got to be. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. Kane and Drew. In episode eight, Kane and Drew are competing. A union that should bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Drew is with Monet. Kane is with Noma. When they compete for the streets, one of them gets their ass whooped. And it's like, wait a minute. We were going to do business with y'all, but we can't do business with y'all. You see what I'm saying? Like, it was to the point where, okay, we could almost work together. We could get Don Carter out the way. But since Drew and Kane are going at it, if they can't squash their shit, then we can't do business together. Oh. That's what I'm looking at. So if they competing, ain't nobody on shit, then fuck it, man. Fuck that deal. And then Tariq and Monet, they go out on a mission. Now, I don't know what this mission is, but, I mean, hell, when you a Tejada, you do whatever the hell you got to.
Hmm. They're saying Dale knows something. They said Dale is the Dale. Dale, you know something, Dale? What you saying? Effie and Drew are almost the same character. Okay, I thought it was a little more in depth. Can we really say Don Carter is crazy? We see other characters talking to dead people too. See, that's the thing. We haven't seen anything else about that. We haven't even seen any mention of that in any of the titles or descriptions. Like it wasn't like anything that said like relating to ghosts or talking to the past. And we don't even know. Maybe he's just talking. Do do y'all talk to yourself at home? Like, you know, when I get up in the morning, the first thing I do in the morning, I always got to stretch because my left ankle stiff as hell, man. I fucked up my ligaments, so I got to make sure I thoroughly stretch before I do anything. So I get up in the morning. First alarm go off at 6.15. Oh, you know I'm not getting out of bed at 6.15. I turn that alarm off. Next alarm go off 6.25. 6.25, I roll over, and I start stretching. Ah, damn, crack, crack, crack. I doze off a little bit. I wake up again on my own, probably like 7.30, I mean 6.36. And at that point, that's when I start talking to myself. I say, Mo, you got to get your ass up, man. You got work today. You got to be at work 25 minutes. Got to be at work, man. Get your ass up. I go into the bathroom. I brush my teeth. Talking to the man in the mirror. Like, dog, you got to get focused, man. You bullshitting. You was on that live last night talking shit. Ha ha and Kiki in with all the Moets. And they weren't even hitting the like button or hitting the subscribe button. So make sure tonight y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. My name is Mo J. I break shows down, and I break them down very well because don't nobody break a show down like Mo break a show down because Mo break a show down how a show is supposed to be broken down. But also, I tell stories. I relate the real with the bullshit. I take the bullshit, and I give you the real. Right now, we're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on because there's a union between the Tejadas and Noma. But right when we think that we're about to go over there and dap each other up and crip walk with each other, blood walk together, put the red rag with the blue rag and come in solidarity, we realize that we're actually further apart than we thought. We're more of the sun and Pluto. One of us is hot. One of us is extremely cold. So when we think that we're about to make some progress, we really don't. We set ourselves back. What I mean by setting ourselves back is Pluto used to be the ninth planet, but now Pluto isn't considered a planet. We took one step back. So our whole life, we always thought that Pluto was a planet. But no, Pluto is too cold, it's too small, and too far away to be considered a planet. Now, we need to find out what the Tariq guy and the Tejada woman, Monet, are doing on this Simply mission. Not simply lemonade, but a seamlessly simple mission mission we know there hasn't been zero missions that were very simple in the power universe there's never been a mission that was simple in the power universe so we know that some bullshit is about to arise and we can't do nothing about it man it's married to the game episode nine i don't know what else is happening tahada's getting close to noma it ain't working Tariq and monet they go on a mission and they just saying that it's a tough mission. That's not giving us any information unless either Drew or Kane and got their ass whooped. Drew or Kane are unalived. That's the only thing I can see. Effie can't be an informant. I don't know, Dale. I mean, we haven't we haven't seen Effie in a couple. Of, they haven't even mentioned Effie's names in these titles. One of the descriptions of these episodes. 